All right, so today what we're going to do is we are still multiplying polynomials. This is day two. Uh, last time we used FOIL. Today, what we're going to be using is the distributing. We're going to use the distributive property in order to do this. <laughs> now, it's really, when you have a binomial times a binomial, you want to use the FOIL. It's a simpler form. It's easier to handle, and you see it a lot better. But when you start getting into binomials times trinomials and larger, then you want to start using this distributive property. And we're going to show this today on exactly how this works. Okay? But once you see it, you're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay? So we have our binomial, we have our trinomial. And the first thing I want to do is go in here and I want to change all the subtraction to addition. Okay? So click, click right there. Click, click right there. That gets us a nice clean. Now it's easy to deal with as we go. We'll be distributing the right numbers through and it's not a big deal. Remember, dis distributive property is just multiplying that number times all the terms inside of those parentheses. So our first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our first term inside of our binomial right here. And we're gonna multiply it times every term inside of here. So we're gonna take this 2x, we're gonna multiply it here, here, and here. Okay, so 2x times 3x squared. That gets us 6x to the third. The most common mistake that you're gonna see here is not getting this exponent correct, and then it's gonna be your sign rules. So watch your exponents on this. So this is this times this. Now we're gonna take this times here. So 2x times 4x. And because I went in here and I changed everything to addition, I know in between all my terms is addition. And my signs will take care of themselves afterwards. So 2x times 4x gets me 8x squared. Watch your exponent rules. And then I'm going to take the 2x times the 4 plus negative 8x. 2x times negative 4. 2 times 4 gets me 8 times the x. We still have this. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other number in the binomial and I'm going to multiply it here, here, and here. Notice how I'm multiplying times everything inside of that uh, trinomial. So the negative nine times the three x squared. And again, it's still addition here, okay? So negative nine times three x squared gets you negative 27 x squared. And then the negative nine times the four x plus 36 x, plus, oh, it should be a negative, sorry, negative times the positive, I told you the most common mistakes, your exponents, and then your sign rules. So negative nine times four x gets you negative 36 x, and then negative nine times negative four, negative times negative is positive, so 36. Now look, look at all of this. Notice what you have in here. You have like terms in here that you need to combine. You cannot leave it in this form. It's not in its simplest form. So you got to go through here and get your like terms together. Now, personally, I rewrite it so that I have my like terms together. It makes it a little bit easier to do that. Okay, so 6x to the third. Oh, I use that one. Plus 8x to the second. Got that one. Then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to get this negative 27x to the second. Got that one. Plus negative eight X that plus negative 36 X that one plus 36. And now I have everything lined up like terms next to each other. Okay. Then I'm going to actually combine them. Now, if you're really good, you might be able to skip this step, but you better be really good at it. Uh, otherwise you're going to make mistakes. So watch that. So six X to the third plus negative 19x squared, that gets this and this, I've got that, plus negative plus a negative, add, keep their sign, gets you 44x negative plus 36, got that, got that, yeah, got that, okay. Now look, it's set up with your highest power to the front, and it's set up in order. Right? Just like you want in your standard form. Whenever you go through here, this is what you want to see. 
okay? Now, this could say 6x to the third minus 19x squared minus 44x plus 36. That would work too. Personally, don't care about that. But I want you to have it set up in order so that you see it. So that's in order, okay? Don't want to be looking around seeing, oh, this here, this there. We need to have it in order so we can see it. This is how you set this up, okay? Now, come in here, do the same thing. Okay? It's a binomial times a trinomial. Doesn't change anything. It's, it's the same thing. Come in here, make sure you change this. Notice 4x to the second power here doesn't change anything. It's still the same. Take this, multiply it here, here, and here. Okay? So 4 times 4, 16x to the fourth, add your exponents. Okay. Plus 4x squared times 7x. Got x to the third. And I just blanked for some reason. Uh, 28. Sorry, blanked out for a moment. 28x to the third. And then we keep going. Plus 8x to the second. Okay. Now we've got these. Now we're going to come back and we're going to do these. Here, here, and here. Plus negative 3 times 4x to the second. Negative 12x to the second. Okay? And then do the next one. Plus, and I know it's negative. It's a negative times a positive gets me negative. 21x. Okay? Negative 3 times 2 plus negative 6. Now go in and combine your like terms. All right, well, the only like terms worked out kind of nice because they're already in order with the way that I did it. But go in and check, make sure they're in order, re readjust them if you need, and then combine your like terms. Well, we got 16x to the fourth plus 28x to the third. That's that one, that's that one, plus and then we got 8x to the second plus negative 12x to the second. Subtract, keep the sign of the bigger number. Negative 4x to the second. That's that one and that one. Plus negative 21x plus negative 6. And no more like terms, so you just leave it like this. This is a perfectly acceptable answer in this. Okay? Uh, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You don't have any like terms. You can't combine anything else. Move forward. Okay? Now, we did binomials. This is a trinomial. If you can do a binomial, you can do a trinomial. All right? That is just the way it is. If you can do a binomial times a trinomial, you can do a trinomial times a trinomial because it's exactly the same. You're going to take each term and distribute it to each term inside the other one. So here, this one goes here, here, and here. And the first thing we want to do is come in here and change these before we actually do that. So that we, we don't have to worry about our, our operation. All right, so 2x squared times 5x squared gets you 10x to the fourth plus positive times a negative. Negative 2x to the second times negative 2x get you 4x to the third plus 2x to the second times negative 8, negative 16x to the second. Now that's the first one. That's, that's this first term times all the terms in here. All right. Now we're just going to take the second term. Same thing. It doesn't change. All right. Plus, and we're going to take this one times here, times here, times here, all right? So 3x times 5x squared gives you 15x to the third, plus 3x times negative 2x gets you negative 6x to the second, plus 3x times negative 8, negative 24x, all right? But now we have this last term in here. But it doesn't change anything there either. You're going to take this one here, here, 
And here, it's still the same thing, same process, okay? So negative six times five x squared, so plus negative 30 x squared, plus negative six times negative two x, gets you 12 x, plus negative six times negative eight, gets you 48. And now you need to come in here and you need to rearrange these because that's a lot of terms in there, all right? So here, 10x to the fourth, that's that one. Plus negative 4x to the third, that's that one. I'm gonna check, are there any more x's to the third? That's what I'm gonna look for. Uh, there's one right there, are there any others? No, okay, so plus 15x to the third, I've got that one. And because this is all addition, I get to rearrange these. I get to regroup them, right? Uh, associative and commutative properties, I get to use those. Plus negative 16x to the second power, there's that one. Oh, and then look here, there's two of them, two others with x to the second power, so I'm gonna put them there. Plus negative six x squared, there's that one. Plus negative 30x squared, there's that one. Okay, so now I've used all my x to the second, now I'm looking at x to the first. Plus negative 24x, there's that one. Plus 12x, there's that one. Then we have 48 over here, okay? Now what we're gonna do is combine our like terms, okay? And again, if you're really good with it, you might be able to do it without doing this but I'm not going to try it. I suggest you rewrite it and get it in, in order. 10x to the fourth plus 11x to the third. That's that, that's that, that's that. Plus, and now we have three of these. So negative 22x to the second plus negative 30x Squared, and I'm going to combine these two real quick. Okay, so negative 52, yeah, negative 52x to the second. That gets those combined. Okay, you might do something like that where you combine them and then you look again and combine the other, and that makes it a little bit quicker, a little bit less paper. Okay, plus, and then I got negative 24x plus 12x, negative. 12x right there, there's that, there's that, plus 48, and we have it written out. The other, the other way that you could see it is this, 10x to the fourth plus 11x to the third minus 52x to the second minus 12x plus 48. Those two things are the same thing, but if you can do a binomial times a trinomial, you can do a trinomial times a trinomial. You just gotta pay attention and be methodical about it. Take it a step at a time as you go through it. Do not try to rush the combining of the like terms. You will make mistakes. Uh, trust me, I've done it, okay? I mean, that's pretty much it. That's using the distri distributing property to, to combine uh, polynomials. If you have any questions, let me know.